Namaste, dear audience. Welcome to Transformation Unlimited YouTube channel. I'm myself, Dr. Shivshankar. I'm a homeopathic doctor. I'm taking the uh, communication skills and personality development course from Mr. Jayaprakash Magatelli, sir. I'm the one of the beneficiary from his teaching. Today, I'm going to interview about few questions to our uh, JP, sir. Uh, sir, uh, welcome to, to the show, sir. Uh, welcome. Sir, I have few doubts, sir. I wanted to ask you the questions. Yeah. I hope even our audience also are also benefited by uh, my questions because they too also have uh, similar kind of questions in their mind. Correct. We'll be able to clarify my doubts and as well as indirectly audience doubt. I hope yeah. so. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, including myself and many of our friends, audience who are viewing your channel, they want to evolve as a very good speaker. Even classroom teacher, like I, I'm a homeopathic doctor come lecturer, sir. Whenever we go we go on the stage, we'll be addressing 100 students. Or sometimes I have to give speech about homeopathy or any topic uh, in front of the crowd. Uh, so what is the importance of preparation before going to the stage, before delivering the uh, speech? This is my question. My okay. question is, can we have a prop should we have proper preparation before going to the stage? Or should we go and you know, uh, talk impromptu for beginning, especially? You see, in the beginning stages, we should have hundred percent of preparation. When you start gaining, you can reduce the portion of preparation, but you can't make it as zero because yeah, you may be an expert in so many topics or the situation. So at least some amount of preparation will help. For example, now I'm remembering Dr. Mathur Krishnamurti. I have invited uh, him for a workshop on public speaking itself. I have observed that he is noting down some points, even at the later stages. And he told, Jay Prakash, I am always carrying the dictionary also. He is the one who used to translate Lal Bahadur Shastri's speech simultaneously in Kannada. That means um, when Lal Bahadur Shastri is speaking, simultaneously used to give the translation. So he, he, is such, he was such an expert, but still I have observed that he also gives value to the preparation. That means preparation is a must. Especially in this case, we may call it as a rehearsal. Okay. So apart from the preparation, we have to have uh, the rehearsal. Okay. Especially uh, the newcomers, uh, they should watch themselves, especially the body language. So they have to stand before the mirror and they have to practice. Uh, very nice, sir. You mean to say Preparation is required from beginners to experts. Yeah, definitely. Experts may require less preparation. Correct. Okay. But whereas beginners require more preparation, sometimes they may require some rehearsal. Mm. Like uh, rehearsing in front of the mirror or they can record themselves. They can correct their body language. Okay. They can improvise themselves. There is a, there is a, uh, we have n number of, the unlimited scope for improving ourselves. Sir. Improve, there is no limit for improvement. We can improve. So, what I observed, I was observing certain uh, speakers, even mm -hmm. film actors, like Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. When in Canada, there are many film actors. Whenever they come and come and give the speech on the stage, the audience will be very, very curious what the actor is going to speak. Or even great politicians. The audience will be having, you know, very curious and Within three, four minutes or five, six minutes, they will leave a huge impact on the audience. How it is possible to evolve ourselves like that, it's like a very good speaker, not only actor. So what under preparation we need to do? See, the celebrity status has helped them, okay? In the especially in the minds of audience. Okay. But I assure anybody in this world can learn. Hmm. Uh, public speaking. No one is a born speaker except a loud speaker. 
So very that, means, that means even Dr. Shushankar can be a great orator. Excellent, sir. Only the regular practice, commitment, the consistency is what is required. Okay? So work on it and um, you will come to know at the later stages. It is like uh, first you have to tune yourself and then you have to fine tune. Depending upon the situation, depending upon the crowd, depending upon the place, the auditorium, the best speaker will tune himself to that situation and use the powerful sentences uh, that leaves an impact on the audience. So you mean to say we should know our audience, target audience, the type of podium, okay, or the platform, in which platform we are going to speak. So now, so for a speaker, yes, a speaker should have a good content. We should deliver very well. We should have a good body language. Okay, all the skills generally very many know. But how should be our clothing? How should we have present? Presenting ourselves has an impact in the mind of audience. Okay. See, the first impression is always the best impression. And the last impression should be the lasting impression. So to impress in the beginning, uh, these are all required. But at latter stages, it's not required. Because people will give more respect to you rather than your clothes. Okay? So when your personality, a quotient, raises, people ignore the costume. But yes, at the initial stages, it is very much required. And for example, uh, Dr. M. Vishweshwaraya uh, is the best example for having uh, dressed up very well. Okay, once I think Mr. C. Rajagopalachari praised him, even during the midnight, uh, Vishweshwaraya was there to receive C. Rajagopalachari. And by observing Vishweshwaraya, he commented, your dress is like as if I rent just now and you wear it. So, uh, that's how Vishweshraya is maintained. Okay? So, the uh, people with discipline uh, take care of their uh, uh, dress at all the 24 hours. <laughs> you know, in, in their own way. Uh, but we, especially the common man, uh, take care of himself only during my, so attending some marriage receptions or some functions. It is not so. We should have a, we should cultivate a habit of having or uh, wearing a good dress. Yes, sir. We should, yes, sir. Uh, we should, God has given beauty to all of us, sir. We should try to wear, depending upon our economic system, we should try to wear a, a good dress as much as possible. We should try to present ourselves in a better manner. Yes, sir. Uh, very nice uh, point from you, sir. Now I have one more point, sir. Uh, what is the importance of using proper wordings while presenting the speech? I have seen many great speakers, some many poets. They speak in Kannada or in English. They use so beautiful words, sir. Sometimes we feel like listening again and again. That kind of impact. How to develop uh, so this uh, uh, you know, vocabulary? How, how should you learn to use our uh, speech? A language starts with words. Mm -hmm. So through the combination of words, we are going to form the sentences. Excellent. So the, these words uh, actually create an impact on the audience. Mm -hmm. That's why our great... Uh, Baswanna told Nudidare Muttina Haradanti Rebeku in Kannada. Hmm. So uh, uh, it should be like that. Okay. So uh, we have to take care of our words. In fact, your words represent your personality. Wow. So take care of your words. Your personality enhances. This is what my observation is. Excellent, sir. Excellent input for us, sir. Yes, sir. So now, uh, I have one more question, sir. Uh, what is the, what is the uh, uh, speaker should be enthusiastic? 
what is the importance of being enthusiastic when we go on the stage? See, it is like a balloon. Mm. So without the air inside mm. the balloon, mm. how the balloon will look like? You know it. Yes, sir. Similarly, only when we have some sort of an enthusiasm, the activeness, the alertness is very much required for any speaker. So I uh, request all of you, especially those who want to become speakers, uh, you should be enthusiastic. In fact, I'm um, uh, fantasized by this uh, word. Uh, he, for enthusiasm, we call Jeevanotsaha in Kannada. I have conducted yes, more than 150 workshops with this title. That means I have understood that this enthusiasm helps us to take care of your, our movements in a better way. Okay. Yes, so enthusiasm will send a positive vibration even to others. Even in us also. Uh, of course. Uh, see, through when we have enthusiasm, we can say, sp uh, spread the enthusiasm. <laughs> Correct, sir. Very, very, very nice input, sir. To become a good speaker, sir. Even sometimes I have seen, sir, whenever I go to class <coughs> as a classroom teacher, whenever I give it a lot of enthusiasm, mm. students also become enthusiastic, understand the positive vibrations. Correct. Then the, our, uh, our 45 minutes or 50 minutes of class goes so smoothly. So we need to be very enthusiastic, whether it's a classroom teacher or stage teacher, speaker, or Correct. whenever we address any audience. Whether it is the, on the stage, even on the Zoom, sir. So what I felt, the more the speakers are enthusiastic, more the audience retention. Uh, Correct. And a uh, few more points, sir. You have already told about body language, facial expression, uh, especially the voice modulation. Sir. And the pause while speaking. I was uh, seeing Mr. Uh, Mr. Vajpayee speaking. Uh, Vajpayee used to speak very slowly. With pause. I've seen great speakers, sir. They will have pause. And we feel like listening to them. Even our uh, in Karnataka, one of our veteran uh, politicians, Sidra Mayaji, he also gives pause. Whenever they give pause, the audience are attracted by that pause. Uh, can you explain, sir, from your experience? Mm -hmm. See, uh, I won't take your examples uh, mm -hmm. because they are not good examples for me, according to me. Uh, we have a lot of other speakers. Uh, you may consider Dr. B.M. Hegde, um, S.M. Krishna, earlier uh, Ramakrishna Hegde. Uh, Ramakrishna Hegde used to give a lot of uh, pauses for the example. Okay, uh, So we have a lot of uh, speakers uh, for that matter. Oh, modulation means the variation in the tone. I have observed that this modulation varies from language to language. Correct. For example, I am an expert in Kannada. Okay. So not in English. So even I have to get trained uh, to use this uh, modulation uh, properly. Uh, this helps us uh, for the even for the accents also. Because as all of you know that uh, British accent is different. US accent is different. Canada is different. Australia is different. So, uh, there is a, a neutral accent. If you are master in the neutral accent, uh, we can shift to any of the other accents. Especially at, at the call centers, um, employees will be trained for this. Okay? So, uh, of course, voice modulation. In fact, uh, people... Uh, will have an impact like a music if we okay. use modulation properly. This is my observation. Yes, sir. You had mentioned in your book, Beauty Canada, the voice, the, the, the sound, what it produces, it will produce the waves. It will affect the minds of the people. It will produce the vibrations. Correct. Excellent, sir. So now, uh, you, are, you have mentioned in your book, content is the king. So, apart from having good communication skills, voice modulation, we need to focus more on the content. How should be the beginning? How should be the ending? 
how should we put the data whatever we would like to express step by step can you can you can you can you narrate your experience sir see it's like a sandwich okay. uh, the good beginning and the good ending so in the middle of it uh, we should have some masala uh, that masala is nothing but the content without the content the speech is useless correct so we have to communicate it may be a point one point or three points or 10 points it doesn't matter but whatever you want to communicate you should have that focus and finish that because many of the speakers fail because uh, they will not come to the point uh, it is like beating around the bush so we should uh, be very uh, sure about our content but we can add always examples uh, we can take um, other quotes to support. Okay. So the basic content is what is required. For example, if you want to speak on time management, we should restrict our main uh, percentage of our talk to the topic. Okay. We should do the justice for the topic. That's what I mean. Well, you meant to say we need to point out uh, the points. Like we need to write on the points, main points. The sequence when creating the content, you should plan in how many minutes. Uh, no, if you plan, uh, there is there will be an order. Uh, without planning, yes, it also it also create an impact because you have planned, you know it, but audience doesn't know it. Uh, correct, correct. So, uh, you should have uh, that uh, um, differentiation. Yes, sir. sir, thank you so much, sir for letting us know your experience, especially you have uh, in brief to summarize your talk, sir, you told that content and presentation, both are very important. Yes. You should work on the content. Yes. You should also work on presentation skills. Correct. So in a nutshell, sir, uh, I got a very good input from you, sir. Mm -hmm. Also our audience also benefited by your uh, teaching, sir. So thank you so much for your uh, Thank you. Time. Thank you, Dr. Shushankar. As a part of the assignment, your uh, done this uh, intro. I am very happy that uh, you have uh, raised a lot of doubts. So I hope I have done the justice. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. Definitely, sir. I also request our audience to uh, uh, to subscribe our channel, Transformation Unlimited YouTube channel, and press the bell button so that we can get uh, the notification of all videos. And you can also follow our uh, uh, in our Canada channel. Jay Prakash Nagatelli YouTube channel. And uh, the interested audience also can join our courses, become the part of our uh, gold community, silver community to uh, develop in their own fields. Thank you so much. Thank All you. Bye-bye.